So what I'm going to tell you now is a little bit about what how CDQ can help in this regard and how the beauty of, of CDQ and ITMDS provide additional value. Because what, what you see here, so CDQ is a, a spin-off from the University of St. Gallen, it's been founded in 2006. And the reason why we have also transformed into a software business was because why do we all do the same? Why do we all manage the same customer data? Why do we all manage the same vendor data? Uh, why do we all have to manage the same data quality rules? And, and what you see here is the, the condensed version of, of what CDQ is. And the hard piece is our CDQ cloud platform. And the CDQ cloud platform uh, consists of 2,100 data quality rules. So it's, for example, what's the structure of a VAT code in, in Germany versus in, in Denmark? What's allowed to stand in the name? So, so global data quality rules, also address quality rules to really identify and, and govern the entry process and also identify which data defects are present and how can we mitigate them. But on the other side, you see external data sources. And together with ITMDS and CDQ, um, we provide an external gateway to all external reference sources. And there we differentiate between public data sources. So that's the right lower corner where we have, for example, direct connections to public sources like the Danish register or German register. Um, we have a Brazilian register connected. So a Japanese register, so global registries to incorporate trusted information from trusted sources. But we also work together with, with tax authorities like the Bundeszentralen für Steuern or the VIS or the Finance Online in Austria to really qualify and verify VAT numbers. On, on top of that is, is that we are able to incorporate also commercial data sources like from Bureau van Dijk or, or Dun & Bradstreet. And on, on top of that, you see the premium data source on the right upper corner. It's the CDQ data sharing community where companies like or like community members like um, Bayer, Bosch, Siemens, BSAF are proactively sharing business partner information into, into our community. And one use case, for example, is not just only the, the, the sharing of business partner information, so like the name and the address, but also um, to prevent fraud. So, and, and that is when we are sharing bank accounts into the community and sort of verify the trustfulness of a given bank account to really avoid uh, invoice fraud and, and mitigate the risk of, of wrong payments. So having said that is how do you get trusted data from trusted sources into your system landscape and their IT MDS helps where we are creating business partner first time right but also Thomas mentioned before where we leverage external reference sources we leverage data quality rules to standardize and harmonize the input and then screen them against sanctions list, watch lists, PEP lists in a systematic approach and also harmonized approach and for all business partners the same. So we of course can configure that, but the most important thing is that, that we are avoiding the systematic error. So we are really having a a process in place together that, that ensures that you screen the right business partner in the right quality against the right sanctions list against the right time. What Thomas also mentioned before is the monitoring of business partners and Lars also mentioned that is how can you ensure that all the business partners that you have in your system are always up to date. And this is what you see here, the maintenance of the business partner data is we are monitoring against the reference sources, we are monitoring against the premium data sources, commercial data sources, whether there's a change and then can incorporate that via IT MDS into your business system. 